Today, I want to do a quick report of this philodendron rugosum. This is a philodendron rugosum, but it's not the original form. This is the aberrant form. That is why you don't see uh, the original round, fat leaf kind of shape. What you see here is an elongated heart with curly edges. Okay? The leaf shape has a little bit of wave on the edges. That is why I like this one so much. I actually rather much prefer the leaf shape of this one than the original rugosum. Okay, the white spots here are just um, some sulfur solution I sprayed on this plant a week ago. So this is just a stain, you can actually rub it off. I'll tell you later why I sprayed some uh, sulfur solution on this plant. But for today, I want to change the pot into something slightly larger. I won't have a very much larger pot and I can't go out to buy now. This plant hasn't, hasn't had a pot change for quite a while. So I think it's quite wood bound now. But before that, I want to show you the substrate I've mixed up. What I have here is uh, cocoa chips, some lacquer balls, and I threw in some of the extra charcoal that I had lying around. So basically it's just uh, three ingredients here. So if you've been following my plant channel, you know that I love to use this mix for my aeroid because this is a very airy mix. Um, the cocoa chip absorbs water like a sponge but it doesn't retain the water. So it keeps the plant roots cool yet it doesn't drown the roots of the plant. So this is a very well draining substrate that I like to use. Now this is a climbing philodendron. You can see that it has aerial roots which I've stuck back into the pot which doesn't help now because <laughs> it's so stuck in the pot now. But you can see from the stem that is actually a climbing aeroid. I'm going to try and loosen the plant from the pot, which is not easy. Okay, it's not coming out. Uh, this is one of my favorite pots and I really don't want to have to do this, but... My gosh, look at the roots. No wonder it's not coming out. And you see I've scraped off some of the skin of the, root, of the roots. Okay, it's out now and you can see how root bound it is. The plant is very light though because I haven't watered it in a few days because I know I wanted to um, remove this from the pot. I thought like I don't want to water this to make it easier but now I'm going to replace some of the substrate not a lot, just to base the pot. And then what I do is I'll tease the roots a bit so that when it loosens it up and when it grows, it grows outwards. Teasing the roots is what I learned from watching Gardener's World on YouTube. Monty Don always says, you have to tease the roots a bit before you repot. So yeah, so... This is not a very easy root to tease, but I'm just going to loosen it slightly.
ASMR. Alright, upon inspection of the plant, I've decided that since the plant is growing sideways like that, I'm going to sit the plant at an angle in a new pot so that in time it will try and grow up again. I think it's a good idea, so I'm just going to do that. Sit it at an angle, but I need some cushion at the side here. Yes. All right. Now in time when the roots grow out, the plant will stabilize even more. Now it feels slightly unstable because first, it's a heavy big plant. And second, I wish I had a bigger pot. And third, I've, I'm sitting it at an angle. So the base is not very stable. So I'm going to add more osmocots. I should stake this, but uh, but I'm not going to. I'm gonna just let it grow like that. Okay, this is done. Now, as promised, I'm gonna share with you why I sprayed some sulfur solution on the leaves. Now, because a few weeks ago, I discovered this on the back of the leaves. Can you see those spots? Those brown spots. I had it on some of the leaves, not all, like for instance, this one didn't have it. This one didn't have it either. Oh, it has like a few spots here. This one had a lot of it. Can you see? You can see the brown, yellow kind of spots. Well, not all of them had it. This one didn't have and these brown spots were really peculiar because it had little balls of liquid that came out of the brown spots and they were sticky. You can still see the reflection of the liquid. So I asked my friend, what's this? After some discussion, he thinks it's actually leaf fungus. I said, well, okay, then maybe I should spray some sulfur solution to it to at least stop the spread of the fungus. So that's what I did. I sprayed some sulfur solution. So I did some research on the internet and uh, I read that it could be a few problems. It could be like what my friend said, uh, a fungus problem, but it could also be a pest problem. Like for instance, if, uh, if you had an aphids infestation, the pest would punch holes underneath the leaves and they would leave like honeydew there. And the honeydew is exactly like the sticky substance that I felt on the plant. But thing is, I haven't seen any pest on this plant, so I'm not sure. Anyway, I've already sprayed the sulfur, so any pest would have gone. <laughs> And the third thing, it could also be a guttation problem uh, because plants perspire in the night. So what it, it does is it sweats from uh, the pores of the plant and it leaves like these little drops of water. And these drops of water, if there is a lot of mineral in the soil, it could have carried the mineral from the soil to the leaf of the plant and left deposits on the plant. It's actually burning spots on the leaf and it created these uh, brown marks, mineral deposits carried from the soil. So this is all a mystery to me, 
I have no idea what's happening to this plant. But it seems all right. It's not dying or, or yellowing or anything. So I'm just going to let it be for a while. If anything catastrophic happens to this plant, I will update you guys for sure. Uh, I hope nothing happens to this plant and it will continue growing like it has always been growing. It is a very, very lovely plant. A very easy plant and it grows pretty quickly. So this is the sulfur powder that I'm using. I bought this from Ace Hardware. That's the brand, I think. And it comes with a booklet of instructions that's stuck to the bottle. And it says here it's for organic gardening. Controls a lot of things. Controls pests and uh, leaf spots and stuff like that. It's basically a fungicide. So, I don't know if you can see inside, but it is in a powder form. And normally I just scoop a little bit and put it inside a spray bottle, mix it with water and spray it on the leaves. But please read the instruction first before you do anything, okay? <laughs> Uh, you can basically also just sprinkle this on the plant itself, but I don't do that because I'm in a confined space. I don't have a garden. Um, so I don't want the sulfur to be flying around in the house, so I mix it with water. It works. Whenever I suspect that I have some fungus spots on my plants, I will use this. Also, before I was using my friend's... Um, Miticide, I also use this to kill spider mites, which does work as well.